Welcome to the WT FFF Special Series, brought to you by the Z and 3D print teams from HP, where your hosts, Tom and Tracy Hazard, explore the all about the what of 3D workflows from concept to print. Hey everybody, this is Tom and Tracy Hazard in this special series of WT FFF sponsored by HP. And this is our last episode in this series. Yeah, it's our wrap up. I am so excited. We've been exploring the 3D creative workflow. Uh, we've been exploring 3D design. We've been exploring 3D uh, systems. We've been exploring uh, just post-processing. I can't even think color, obviously, full software. color 3D printing, software. I mean, we, education. We've been exploring how uh, HP and their partners are supporting uh, COVID relief and PPE efforts. We uh, don't forget about sustainability. Mega trends. Mega trends. <laughs> like we I talked mean, about it gosh. all. I know. So it's really been a comprehensive series and I love the way that it flows through and how it's kind of walked us through like all parts of the 3D creative workflow. And I, and I'm so really in rediscovering this sort of end to end process for us. I think it's been re-energizing for 3D for the 3D industry in general. Like I, I'm, I'm so excited that we've done this because it's helped us see how far things have come along in each part of the industry. Well, and also this series has opened up my eyes to see how much is being done to move the entire 3D printing industry forward. Yes, this is a series sponsored by HP, but even they have this vision as a leader in the industry to help further the whole industry, not just to move it forward for them alone. That's right. And th th we've met so many of their partners and so many of the various applications of use and things like that along the process here. It's been eye opening. And so I really want to thank HP 3D um, and their 3D design departments and community in general. I mean, it's just been fantastic over there at, at HP 3D and the Z by H8, the Z by HP team, boy, I can't even get that out. That's how exciting they are. But the Z by HP team is just doing some fantastic things over there with their workstations and their softwares and the other parts of the things that they're doing um, and getting a lot more of that textures and stuff in there too. So I'm, you know, so excited about all those things that we've talked about. And I thought maybe we would recap Tom by, you know, mentioning a few of our favorite episodes or moments. Sure. Okay. Well, what were some of your favorites? Well, I have to say that, you know, because I'm kind of an industry trend kind of girl, that for us to start out with Edward Davis and really talking about the mega trends and really looking at it from that perspective, I love that beginning because it sort of set the tone for everything we'd eventually talk to talk about, you know, talking about the fourth industrial revolution and we talk about the, you know, industry 4.0 and all of those things like that. I love starting there. So I think that was one of my very favorite episodes personally, because I have such a personal interest in that. What, what did you like? Well, there are several that I like, <laughs> but uh, one of them I would say is our discussion with Bart Massey because, well, he really is a designer. So we spoke the share. same <laughs> language and had a lot of mind share there, but it's, it was really fascinating to see everything going on from his perspective with how design is used and applied and, and then using also, uh, not only the tools that HP has, but the process, right? Right, absolutely. You know, I, lo I love that one too. He was really interesting and, um, and, you know, getting to talk about 3D design process is just as critical as like, the, you know, the design tools and everything like that. So I, I enjoyed that one too. I agree with you. Um, I think my next one, which was really surprised me that I liked it as much as I did, was Nick Smith, Nicholas Smith. And, you know, he, he's, operations guy but an operations guy with vision and I just thought this is so refreshing to me that they have this global view across everything at HP and it really goes down through every level of the company about innovation has to happen change has to happen growth has to happen and even those of you guys over there in manufacturing can't get can't get static you can't get complacent about it we're gonna make we're gonna keep moving and shifting things up I loved that perspective I thought that was really eye-opening for me it was, uh, you know, a much actually more dynamic and enlightening interview than I expected to have with because somebody in operations. operations, you know, <laughs> who usually are just very, I would say, black and white thinkers, you know, in yeah. terms of how they see things. But um, he definitely um, had a lot of vision and it was very impressive to learn what he did for sure. Yeah. 
you know, I would say one of my other favorite ones was learning about the new software that's available, especially Gravity Sketch. I mean, the idea of creating things in, you know, VR, AR, whatever you want to call it, XR, <laughs> you know, how you could very quickly Did we model you? something. Well, you know, I, 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 think I don't I have the converted. equipment. You could convert me if you want to, you know, <laughs> allocate some budget, budget. <laughs> for buying the hardware. But, um, <laughs> but no, I could definitely see opportunities, especially in some of the things that we often would do, which is more furniture design, things that are in your, in, you know, your interior environment that are kind of big, being able to create 3D models so quickly that way. Right. It was really impressive seeing how that was, how that was done. And I could see, you know, I was sort of remembering back to my days in industrial design school in college and how we learned to, you know, work through our ideas in our mind's eye and, and represent that in a way that we could communicate not only to others, but communicate with ourselves in developing a design. And I see that tool just being a wonderful step forward and being able to do more. So I was blown away by that. And that was probably one of the most fun uh, segments we did in this series. Well, you know, that going from the mind's eye to, to, you know, the result of it, that's why I'm very positive. This is probably one of both of our favorite episodes is the color complexity. So when we talk about the complexities of color 3d printing, I'm very sure that was both because my dream is in, um, of design is always in color. Oh, and so you mean the is, episode where we talked about applying color in the test prints we did yeah yeah, yeah. oh that absolutely i mean so i think that's... that that qualifies on both our levels because it was able we were able to get to what we both oh. have in our mind's eye what we were able to achieve it it's also the fun stuff we get to play with it we're <laughs> yeah. touching all these prints and you know designing things and learning how we can create even better designs well and, and that ties into my other favorite episode which is when we were talking about project captus with josh st john I just, you know, I love texture. I love materials. I love the idea of it getting closer and closer to that quality of products where we, when we touch them, we just fall in love with them, that they, they give us that intrinsic value right from the feel of them. I love that we might be able to do that. And that, that is, that project is getting us closer and closer to being able to do that. So that's one of my favorite episodes as well. Um, do you have any other favorites, Tom? You know, I've really enjoyed the whole series. It's been so much fun taking a deep dive into it and getting access to all these people at HP that it would have been very hard for us to get access to. They probably would have never let us actually speak to some of these people because some of these people, I believe, if I remember correctly, if I'm wrong, Tracy, but had not been allowed to talk to the press in the past or didn't regularly do it. Right. right. So well, I mean, we, we really got, we got to peel the curtain back. Here. Yeah. And we got to talk about things that we never get to talk about, like reverse engineering, 3d reverse engineering. We got to talk about, um, you know, prototyping and digital manufacturing, but the, through the use of generative design, um, that's really an interesting concept as well. Um, and I think then the other one that I think has to fall on both of our favorite lists, because as we think it's critically important to the future is the one on education with David Hollins. Of course. The fact that HP has mm. such a, a, global mission to improve education and not just in design and, and technology, but in all aspects of education and how can 3D and how can companies like HP be a part of that solution? Like, I mean, that as a parent just hits me that that's a critically important one too. And I think that that, that falls on one of my personal, the one that personally touched me as like, wow, there's something really great going on here. Well, and it, it, to me, what was so impressive, not only what he was doing and does traveling the world and, you know, um, helping uh, the further education, but is also the fact that only a company like HP can afford to support that kind of effort. It takes a big company with the resources they have to really round all this out in every different discipline, including education, 
And I was really so impressed. But you know, I think that that goes back to why I think my, my, the Megatrends episode was my favorite is because mm -hmm. I think when you have your eye on the big picture of how the whole industry is intertwined and how everything has to move and everything has to grow, including how we train the next generation and how they get educated and what skills they learn and you know how cognitively developed they are, right? When we build all that together, then we really move the promise of 3D design, 3D printing, and a 3D manufacturing world to a whole new place, right? And that's what this, that's what they've accomplished at HP in, in terms of laying groundwork for every single piece of the ecosystem that they, they could. So the, the last episode that I'm, I like, we just did, so you will have just heard it before this one, Jasmine Burton, I just really hope that that's just an example for all of you out there and that it inspires you to go out there and build great, big, huge ideas and turn them into companies, turn them into products. Just really, there are so many tools out there and the cost of doing business has come so far down. It's amazing, right? It's all at your access right now. And I hope that, that she inspired you to be able to, to take that in and look at all these pieces that are in place for you and to start to pull it together to achieve your vision in the world. So that, that's what, what my real hope with you know, that last episode I'm is. I'm glad you mentioned that one, Tracy, because honestly, that was a lot of fun to have that conversation, to learn about what had, had she has done and to study it and, and see that as a case study for opportunity for other projects. I mean, she's really immersed her whole life in it, right? right. Since but, the moment, uh, since she, moment and, she started the project, she right. changed her life. And 3D printing is only one piece of that, but a very important piece that allowed certain things to happen and move the project forward. And yeah, I'm really glad HP allowed us to add that, that one. one to the yeah. series because it actually was one that wasn't really planned. It wasn't planned, yeah, but I'm glad it got it, included because it, it kind of rounded to it out. Be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I cannot thank HP enough for coming to us with this idea of, of doing the sponsored series, the special series. And I, you know, I, it's sort of the end of it. Like we had a, a finite number of episodes, but I, I, I hope it doesn't end. I hope we'll be able to add a few here and there as we get updates about what's going on in the world. And I, if you out there are doing business and you're utilizing an MJF or uh, you're utilizing various parts of all of the things we talked about, we'd love to hear what you're doing. So please share that with us. Where you can reach us anywhere on social media at Has Design with two Z's, um, or at 3D Start Point. So you can do either one of those and reach out to us and let us know the projects that you're working on. We'd love to keep this conversation going and share it. And maybe we can convince HP to do a few more episodes in the future, and we can get some more updates on things that you're interested in that you'd like a deeper dive into. I think that'd be fun. And I have another project that I've been working on, and. Um, I, I think it's going to be another good case study and I think it has to become an episode, if not a couple of episodes, because it's, it's really an involved project. So yeah. So just, stay tuned. Don't yeah. unsubscribe here because we'll be back. We'll be bringing you some updates now. And again, we will not be posting every week. Like we, you know, we, we stopped doing that. We're dropping series at this point, but we will, if we do a few episodes, we'll drop a series of them to kind of round out the knowledge for you. Won't we we'll just drop one in. We'll drop a, a series of them for you. So you can stay tuned and we appreciate you listening to the WTFFF. 3D podcast because <laughs> we're broader than 3D printing right now. <laughs> and, right. and so we're now a 3D podcast. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, wow, thank you all for listening. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to engaging with you and talking with you more about the projects and the exciting things you're doing in the 3D world. Okay. Thanks everybody. Until next time. Thanks for listening to the WTFFF special series brought to you by the Z and 3D print teams from HP. You can access all the resources mentioned in this episode and all the other episodes in this series by going to 3dstartpoint.com HP. We invite you to reach out to us on social at 3D Startpoint and at Z by HP and let us know what you are creating in 3D.